Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is a bit different than my usual speed painting videos. I wanted to try and explain a bit more about the process of how I go about of making one of these drawings. Uh, it's not quite a step-by-step -step tutorial because as you can see it's still sped up but this should at least give you a little more information about the image. This image is done in GIMP 2.8. GIMP is a image manipulation program that you can download for free. Link in the description to their website. The, this drawing is done with a standard desktop mouse and the entire image took about 14 and a half hours. Thankfully that wasn't in one sitting. I'd be impressed if someone sat down and drew for 14 hours. Uh, I actually lost an hour of work on this drawing when I corrupted the save file by hitting the reset button on my computer to test if it was working. It's not one of my proudest moments but thankfully I didn't lose everything because at that point I was about 10 hours in. But at least I learned something out of that and that is to not only save often, with that part I don't have a problem, but to also save in different files because I saved the image right before I pressed the reset button but the file was open in GIMP so it's still corrupted so I guess it's always a good idea to not just save in one file I noticed my drawings take a bit longer than some of the other YouTube artists that I've seen and I think that's partly because I use a mouse but probably also because I don't practice often enough. I'd like to eventually be able to do a drawing in about three to four hours because if a drawing takes longer than that it usually ends up stretching over a few days and it's difficult to maintain your inspiration and your excitement about an image when it takes a very long time to draw. And when you lose your interest in your drawing, you tend to start to rush things towards the end, which could spoil the overall image quality. I particularly like the eyes in this image because they're very striking and I think that the magnifying glass really helps to focus your attention to them. It's always interesting to me that the eyeball or the white part of the eye is so much darker than I picture in my head and I always end up making it too white and then when I take a step back and I look at the eye I can immediately see that something is not quite right. Some of the other artists on YouTube use a technique called color blocking which is basically where you block out the entire image with very basic colors and then slowly keep refining the detail. I've tried this once or twice and I've found it to be kind of difficult for me. Instead, I start out with a very detailed section which I then use as a basis for the rest of the image. To me this is helpful because with the color blocking I'm never quite sure when to stop refining the image. With the way I do it, and I'm not sure if there's a name for this technique, but I put a lot of detail into one area until I'm happy with it and then build the rest of the image off of that. I don't think there's anything wrong with color blocking but it almost feels like you have to be a more skilled artist to use that technique. I'm fairly happy with the way the, the final image turned out but as artists I guess we always see the flaws in our own art. I definitely believe that you shouldn't compare yourself to other artists out there but sometimes I can't help comparing the current drawing to some of my older stuff 
um, and if it's not as good as the older stuff then I'm tempted to throw it away uh, this is a bad habit though I feel because you can very quickly demotivate yourself or lose interest in drawing because you you're not you don't feel like you're making progress thanks for watching if you like this image please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends that really helps me out a lot if you have any suggestions for something that you want me to draw please leave a comment below thanks for watching bye